No matter your opinion of Scarlet and Violet, the concept of Paradox Pokemon has always fascinated me. But I got an issue with them, and it's probably not the one you're thinking of. Me? Well, I just don't think there are enough of them. So, I made 12 more of them. Oh my god! You see that thing on the top of his head? I am a big <laughs> boy! Yeah, I made him kill a great tusk. You think that grows out the ground? Uh oh, that ain't organic. Well, I guess it is organic. Dude, Iron Chunk looks so good. He's such a <laughs> small guy. So this this whole entire thing that's right here, the whole idea behind it was it's supposed to be like some futuristic vacuum cleaner or something like that. Oh, you're probably chunky. You're probably a chunky boy. Yeah, Iron Chunk's a bit on the chunky side. Oh, that's that's really good. I didn't bring a defogger. And oh yeah, I forgot to mention. You see those? Yeah, all of these. I made them like a year ago before I knew how to do... Lots of stuff, actually. Yeah, I go out into this guy. I really don't care, dude. So, um, yeah, no, I went back and fixed them all. Like Iron Chunk. Originally, this was designed after Wally, -E, you know, the robot that was cleaning up a dead planet, yada, yada, yada. But I wanted to imagine something with a brighter future and, you know, a shiny butt. I like a shiny butt. Bring out a guy. <laughs> oh, I love him. Why he like, why he like that? Ah, yeah that thing right there um that thing still keeps me up at night yeah i'm scary i'm scary and i think i got every right to be because the original idea behind gloom seed was to be a pre-evolution to weird ear but uh no i'm not allowing that thing to have an evil light are you crazy Ooh. well i got my two layers of spikes up all right joe you put in some good work i appreciate you so instead of creating a pre-evolution for weird deer i decided to make it its own pokemon with its own stupid xehanort haircut say I, I, I don't know what that means no one does but now it's time for iron helios what the f is a pretty appropriate question to be asking because how did this thing start off as a Rabska and I turned it into that? What the hell? <laughs> Hi, game. And I mean, design wise, <laughs> there's not much to work with here. I mean, it's a very tiny beetle. Like, what am I going to do with that? Para, 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 para. No, no, no. Please? No, no. Oh. Yes, trick room. Oh, epic. <laughs> so I went back to the Pokedex entries, kind of like I did earlier. And I found this little tidbit of information. The body that supports the ball barely moves. Therefore, it's thought that the true body of this Pokemon is actually inside the ball. So if that thing in the middle is what is alive on this Pokemon and not the beetle looking thing that's down there. I get a pee pee. Can you just kill me? That's scary as hell. But gives me a pretty fun idea to build this guy inside the shell, you know? Um, I guess I could. <gasps> we eat those hits so well. Yeah. And I mean, hey, if he's going to be closed off to the world kind of like I am with my emotions, and no, I don't want to talk about it, then why not give him a high defense stat, you know? Oh! I was, well, I was, well, I was really lost. Which I'll need every bit of for this guy. <sighs> he's bringing out I the Halloween Oh yeah, and you might be wondering, why isn't this thing like a dragon or a dinosaur or something like that. Aren't all past Paradox Pokemon dinosaurs? Take a look at that thing right there. What, what, what part of that looks like a dinosaur? And any... Definitely the eyelashes. No, de you're, you're right. Definitely, that's my fault. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of sucks, but I have to do this. Uh, ooh. I brought this for, like, some reason. I don't know why I brought it. Terra, Dude, that was such a good Terra. Hopefully, maybe I take you down here? Oh my god. I'm epic. <clears throat> for Pan Simeon, its tribes are all based upon, you know, the patterns of the leaves that are on its shoulders, and I really wanted to accentuate that aspect of it, because I just thought it was cool. But what I didn't realize was I was accentuating how toxic this thing is. And I have Gunk Shot, and I don't miss. Goodbye, gamer. Yeah. Um, you know what? I think it's time for you. My Iron Vision. Iron Vision? Ah! Oh, what? Why are you grossed out? Why is he on a coil? He's floating, gamer. He's got the little bloop, bloop, Psychic bloop, bloop, dark. <laughs> Dude. So that is what humanity made. Like this thingamajiggy right here. Because Yuxi somehow went to the wayside. Kind of like dinosaurs or, you know, Elvis Presley. Um, and uh, they, they made that thing instead. Um, to replace it, I guess. Uh, maybe Cyrus wanted the red chain back or whatever. Tr tried to redo his plan again. Um... Also, do you know that I'm older than this guy? All right, I'm bringing out this guy. Pulsing mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Now, I don't know if Culpa did this on purpose, whether he like read into the Pokedex entries or not, but he designed this Pokemon to mimic the side of a cave wall or to look like a rock, which is kind of ironic. Why does he look like that? <laughs> Why is he freaking you out? <laughs> I have. No, you're power, aren't you? I am power. 
because in the deck entries, it talked about the petals on it being very similar to Terra Stones or Terra Shards or whatever the heck they are. Wait, did you? I missed skillful dodge. Skillful you can miss dodge. me. Yeah, 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 but what yeah, if Glamora yeah. started off its life as a little crystal gremlin and just possessed a terror crystal because it saw, you know, a lot of power within them and wanted that power for its own? So here you go, pulsing gem. Bow. Uh, Why did that kill? Huh? Plus one special attack. Super effective. It's me. Oh, hi, Iron Jester. Hi. You gave him the little Rotom fan. Yes, oh, I love he's that. Cybernetically I connected. love that. I have a very soft spot for this Pokemon because in the original video, this is the Pokemon that I spent weeks on trying to figure out how to get the parallax effect or that little dot pattern that you see in Paradox Pokemon to work. You gave this thing hips. Oh, and they don't lie. Hey, Shakira, bro. Shakira. It has hips, they do not lie. Oh, you're faster than me for sure, for sure. Oh, you already know, baby. Okay, say goodbye to the toxic spikes. Oh, no. Flower like trick. Oh, this was, a, this was a good pivot. Yeah, yeah, pretty good pivot. Wait, you have gunk shot. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Mm, this is... This is not very good for me. This is not very good. <laughs> oh, that's big for me. And that was a crit. That's that's why. that's why. That's <laughs> why. That's absolutely why. That was a g that crit was crazy. Ooh. Do you want to die? Do I want to die? Yeah, do you want to die? Preferably not. Fierce Gene! Oh, oh my game. god, I love it. Now, I'm going to be honest. I absolutely love Fierce Gene, but this wasn't always the original idea. At first, it was going to be a mashup between Mew and Arceus because, well, Mew's the ancestor to every Pokemon, Arceus the god Pokemon, yada, yada, yada. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, wait. But then I saw a Cursed Eyes design, I was like, yeah, no, I can never compare. <laughs> and decided to make Mew more like Mew 2X. Because if Game Freak can capitalize on nostalgia, why well, can't die? I'm running Rocky Helmet. I thought that was going to make oh. contact. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I, I die, I die, I die to this. Dude, I want to see that Ow. thing do more. Hold up. <laughs> I feel it's so okay. bad. It's okay. He looks now. so cute. I like, I like the redesign. <laughs> all right. Well, Iron Jester, you put in some good work. I pivot, appreciate you pivot, for all that pivot. you did. Yeah, I want to, I want to, I want to see this. I want to see this guy. Oh, no. I'm Oh my god! <laughs> this, this right here is one of the Pokemon that I fear the most when it comes to fighting it because a lot of the Pokemon on my team just happen to be like not in the position to knock this thing out quickly. Dude, this Dude, is so bad. The past team just goes crazy. But some of you might remember this Pokemon a little bit differently. Hang. 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 So a lot of you, when you first saw this thing, you either loved it or you hated it. And I can understand where the love comes from because I think this thing's absolutely hilarious. But I can also understand where the hate comes from because it's not really past paradoxy. But I see the vision that Culpa originally had for it. So I wanted to keep that vision intact. Oh God, where'd he go? I... Uh... Oh, there you are, buddy. So to stay true to the vision, I turned it into a salt creature that was possessed by a living tree of some sort. Um, yeah, yeah no, I don't know how I'm dealing with that. <laughs> Mossy Cobble. I can't even oh see my him. God. He's so big, he just disappears. But I saw him for a split <laughs> second. He looks epic. Well, are you going to be able to take him out? I don't know if he's going to be able to take him out. This is bad. This is bad for me. Oh, no. Oh, hi, buddy. Iron Show. Oh, my God. I love him. <laughs> he's. It's so simple, but so clean. Well, with a tanky mammoth of my own. Look at that. Look, look. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Dude, that thing is cute. Oh, you terrorize. Excuse me. Oh, you're BP. You're BP. Maybe. <laughs> you're body blessing. But when I first made it, I had a completely different idea about what a future Paradox Avalok would look like. Most future Paradox Pokemon are basically just robots. And that ain't no robot. It kind of breaks my heart that I, that I got to shoot the baby here. But, um... Oh, that was smart. That was smart. I'm glad I got rid of my water typing. Hi, body press. I can't, <laughs> I can't either. You have to like zoom so far out. <gasps> your, body pressing, bro, your body pressing. Bro, your body pressing nothing. Your body pressing nothing. What do you mean? Over half? I'll take that straight to the bank any day of the no, week. No, I mean yes, like you're sir. literally on my screen not body pressing anything. Yeah, okay. I see what angle you're playing here. Leech sheet. Dude, you're you're joking me right now. You're joking. I'm toxic. That's, that's so gross. Well, um. I think I don't leak. live. Yep, that's fine. No. Hey, Bye, buddy. Bye, game. All right, so who are you bringing out now? No, I'm going to save him. I'm going to save him. We're bringing no. out this guy. No. The pulsing gem. <laughs> Bow. 
Oh, but we live! Ah! Oh, oh, but I got a special attack. Drop. That's big. <laughs> so big on a body pressing shelf, yes. Now, before I show you my last Pokemon, I want you to take a look at these stats. What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Maybe it hits hard, it's fast, potentially a glass cannon? No, it's iron cannon. Now this little shrimp raher, oh my god, it is. Oh, he's epic. <laughs> Wait, he's got a little propeller. <laughs> that thing right there is the speediest Bobini that you've seen in this side of the West. He's booty too got a propeller. You're a dragon type? I am a dragon type. Oh, I know what you're, I know what you're doing. How oh. fast are you bringing him back out? Lame, yeah. lame. Oh my god. God, that is so much damage. It's so much damage, dude. He has got no defenses. He's a glass cannon. Like, he lives dude, up to the that name. Dude, that did so much. Which was damage I couldn't really afford to take because the last Pokemon that Culpa had left in his party could single-handedly win him this entire battle. Raging Sun. Oh, my God. Oh, this is the one I was waiting for you to see, dude. This one... I cannot tell you. Wait, what is he? Wait, wait. And the original idea behind Raging Sun was uh, actually funny enough, the ability that Baxcalibur has. See, with Thermal Exchange, if it gets hit by a fire move, it tends to up its stats. Not tends to, does up its stats. I, I worded that poorly. <laughs> this is the one I was waiting for you to see, dude. You're so smart. Like, how many ice types actually want to take a flamethrower to the face? So if it can stand up to that, I think it's reasonable to make this thing a fire dragon, or at least used to be a fire dragon. The logic is there. You just got to squint for it, you know? Oh, Turn I'm dead. Meteor! Yeah, I'm dead. Ah! I'm dead. I have, this thing has no... I didn't run an AV. I should yes! run an AV.